I grew up going to this river a lot. This was one of the staple spots that me and my friends would go to in the middle of summer with nothing to do because there used to be a rope swing down at the river right here. You used to be able to climb up this makeshift ladder that leaded to a couple platforms at different heights that you could swing down right into the river. It was such a good time. And a little bit downstream on the river, there's these rapid spots that crazy people like to go on kayaks and, and go down the whitewater rapids. You're not gonna catch me doing that, all right? But listen, it's fun to see other people do it. And a lot of these spots, my dad used to take me when I was a kid. So this river has a lot of really good memories attached to it for me, but also a couple really bad ones as well. And this story, this video, is about the time where this river almost took my life. I'm gonna start making vlogs with B-roll and drone footage about where stories happen, so leave a like on the video if you guys wanna see more videos like this, trying out something new. And really quick before the video continues, if you guys are into HHC, check out Snazzy Sesh from my company, snazzysesh.com, if you guys are into HHC vapes or gummies. So the river spot where this story happened, this was by the rope swing, but past the rope swing, there's a little beach spot. And I would be there right now, right here, if there wasn't three, three unique things about this spot, about this chill spot. The rope swing, the beach, and mosquitoes. All right, there's a certain time of the year, currently right now, it's just the beginning of August. It's not good. You can see in this video right here, just for me standing still, getting a shot of the river, I got about 20 mosquitoes flying all around me. It's not a vibe. In order to get these drone shots and videos, I had to go down there multiple times to get eat alive. So leave a like on the video, please. Thank you. The rope swing spot used to be so chill. You could go down there, blaze. Police would very, very rarely come down there. There was a couple times where they came down and like caught people underage drinking and blazing and stuff like that. But luckily I never got caught down there. I witnessed it firsthand. I'll may maybe save that for another video. But it was always just a really chill crowd of people that would go down there. A lot of the times someone would back their pickup truck right to the edge so there'd be like even another platform to swing off into the river. But unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of good things come to an end eventually. There was a couple, you know, there was a couple times where people climbed up and some people lock up when they're on the rope. They swing out and their brain just tells them to hold on. So they come back and smash against the tree, and then there was another person that ended up falling off the platform and really messing up their hip. So there was a couple times where people got really hurt. So the town, unfortunately, had to go down there and cut down the tree. But this was after a lot of effort. People down there loved this rope swing to the point where the town would go down there and cut the rope, but people would keep coming back, putting more ropes up, and it got to a point where they were cutting it down so often, someone actually went there and attached a metal piece to the branch, so even if they cut the rope off, they could just attach another rope super easily. It was great. It was, a, it was super fun, man. I wish it was still there, but unfortunately the town, you know, the final straw went down there and cut the tree down. So the only cool spot down there currently is the beach spot. You know, you can go and sit by the, where the rope swing was, but it's not much of a beach area, as you can see in this B-roll right now. It's, it's not really much there to do. It's a lot better to go over to the beach. Now, I will say, there was only two things to do down at this, this like, you know, hidden little park by a river, and it was the rope swing and to do drugs. And now that the rope swing is not there, you can imagine the, the kind of people that go down there. Sometimes you see some wild people down there, so it's not exactly a place I enjoy going anymore. The rope swing really made it. The beach is still fun to go swimming when the mosquitoes are not like they are right now. We've had a lot of rain, so that probably has to do with it. I'm not going to just start talking about the weather, all right? I'm not 65 years old yet. I know I'm getting old, but listen. Mosquitoes suck. Leave a like on the video if you agree. So this was shortly after the rope swing was unfortunately slain by the town. And a lot of the stories on my channel start with, we had nothing to do. It was a warm summer day. We we're walking around, blazing. It was one of those days. We had nothing to do. Middle of the summer. And I had a friend that was staying at my house for the summer. He, we just have the greatest times, but if any of you guys have been watching my channel for a while, that was the scumbag steals my weed character. If I remember correctly, I think we, we had a, a four loco each. This was the this was the struggle days, man. The four locos. We'll get you going, man. I would never recommend that. I, I can't even think about drinking one. Any malt liquor is just off the table. So combining a four loco with a couple bowls of that sticky icky would just send me on another planet in my head. I would just be absolutely fried and it was really hot kind of like today it was just a real hot day and that water was looking very nice were we prepared absolutely not we're wearing normal shorts normal clothes we take off our shoes and we start swimming in the river 
And this river spot is pretty unique because ac right across the river from where the beach starts is a place that I used to hang out with. Uh, it's one of my dad's friends from when I was growing up as a kid. And he has this whole property that leads all the way up to the river. So I just was just like, you know, shooting off ideas in my head. I'm like, hey dude, let's swim across the river and go blaze over there. It's just something to do, you know? That's how bored we were. There was just something to do. So I don't know if it was the confidence from the, the malt liquor. That stuff will make you feel like you can fly. You know, you could just do anything on that. Uh, wouldn't recommend it, it's disgusting. You deserve better than that. And on top of that, I kind of got this little ego in, in me knowing that I was a certified completionist of fourth grade level swimming lessons. So listen, you know, I got a lot under my belt. So I'm thinking, swimming across this river? No big deal. Let's do it, dude. It'll be fun. I can show them around this little campsite beach area that I used to hang out at when I was a kid. And it seemed like a great idea. All right, my friends get in the water and they're going a, you know, a little bit ahead of me and I'm swimming. And as soon as the riverbank drops off, there's nothing underneath me. I start to remember, I can only keep myself up on top of the water for maybe 30 seconds, 90 seconds max, and then I'm starting to get fatigued, you know? The stamina bar is getting low. So I'm swimming along, my friends make it all the way to the other side of the river, and they're just kind of looking at me, waiting, and I'm just about halfway through the river struggling. Like, the more I go, the more effort that I have to put in and it feels like I'm just making less and less progress and I'm just kind of in the middle of the river. When I realize that I'm not going anywhere, even though like I'm trying my hardest, I'm kicking behind me as hard as I can, I'm just staying in the same spot, I start to panic. I start to hyperventilate. I'm like, you know, the adrenaline's running through me. I'm not having a good time, man. This is like one of my greatest fears, drowning. I mean, it's probably one of your greatest fears too. It's probably one of the worst ways to check out of this world, man. Just kind of stuck in this river and I'm looking at my friends and they're just looking back at me and I start to go under the water. I'm splashing all over the place. I get back up to the air and I'm just like looking around and my friends are just laughing at me, thinking I'm joking. Like I'm just, you know, just fake drowning in the river. And I go back down, I'm freaking out at this point. Um, and this is where I had this feeling that I've never experienced in my whole life. Hopefully I never experience it again. It was like a cliche movie situation, like a movie scene where it's like someone's about to pass and they're seeing their life flash before their eyes. I was actually like visualizing like, this is the end. Like this is how I'm gonna go out. Like I was having those thoughts and I was seeing pictures of people from, from my life and I was like, this is, it was like the conclusion of a movie. Right there, it's happening all in one moment and it was like everything was in slow motion but happening so fast. And I know that sounds really cliche, like oh sure dude, I've never experienced anything like this. This was horrible, genuinely terrible. And I probably went under the water a couple more times and I get up and I'm looking at my friends like, dude, help me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drown, like help me please. And one of my friends was just sitting there laughing, you know, he, he wasn't taking it seriously, but the other person was like, oh, sh you know, like we got, I gotta help him. Like he gets into the water and he's swimming towards me. I had cargo shorts on and it felt like the pockets of the cargo shorts were being filled with water weighing me down. And so I was just going under the water over and over again, like taking gulps of this nasty river water. You swim in this river, you smell terrible after. You had to take a shower, mandatory. I think it was right after our water treatment facility, so we were literally swimming in shit. To be fair, it's filtered, so it's not actually like you're swimming in it, but it's still, it's kind of nasty if you think about it. Especially considering I was swallowing it, you know? Like, well, what's in there? My friend swims over to me, and I'm talking record finish, like right, right before I'm actually going down into the water and dying. Like, it was like really, really close. And I, I grab onto his shoulders and bring him down with me. We both go under, he gets back up. He's like, dude, you can't just push my head down under the water like that. And I'm like freaking out. I grab his shoulders, try it like lightly. I'm like pushing my body back, kicking as hard as I can with him. It was a struggle, absolute struggle. And I remember realizing how close I was. We, we went like maybe 10 feet before where I was like freaking out, panicking and that is where the riverbank started. So I was so close to safety, but yet so far mentally, I was completely stuck there. My buddy saved my life. This was a genuine moment of like, I got to the shore and I think I gave him a hug. I was like, dude, you just saved my life. I was about to check out. That was the end right there. And you just brought me back. I felt like I had a second chance of life sitting on the beach, like, Mind blown. It was, it was a terrifying experience. I hope none of you guys ever experienced this. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had a close call with drowning. It's 
terrible. So now, now, now is a real tough part because now we're on the other side of the river. We have two options. Walk like three, four miles through the woods, up onto the road, and then another probably five miles back to the other side of the river to get our stuff that's like all shoved in our shoes and hidden away in a bush because that's where all our kush was, man. And I'm trying to convince my friends, like, dude, if I go, over, go across this river again, it's over, it's done. Like, I'm not doing it, dude. I gotta make the walk back. And they're like, dude, we're just gonna swim across. And we're just kind of sitting there contemplating. And then the holy grail, dude, the 10 out of 10 moment coming around the corner. We see someone in a kayak, just cruising along, having a good day. And I flag him down like, dude, can you please help me across the river? I almost just drowned. And he's just like, of course, come on over. And I get in the water, grab onto his canoe or, or kayak. I can't exactly remember. It was a boat, dude. It was a little one person boat. So probably a kayak. And my friends just swim across the river. No, no big deal. And I'm grabbing onto this kayak and he's just, you know, paddling along real slow. And I'm like, dude, thank you so much. Like I, I almost drowned right here. And he's like, he's like, yeah, man, you got to be careful right here because this is where another stream, which is on the property across the, the way that we were trying to go to, a stream kind of interconnects with the river and that's where the currents combine. So I was stuck directly in the middle of the current, right in the river, kind of like just spinning in a circle almost. Like I was just stuck in one spot. Dude, that kayaker was the goat. You know, he saved the day, absolutely saved the day. That would have been hours of walking back to the spot. And I'm sure you're probably wondering like, why couldn't one of my friends just call like my dad, for instance, to come and get me. And dude, we were twisted. We were, we were baked, dude. It was not a situation. This is long before I wanted my dad to know I was into any of this stuff. So I was completely out of it. I was like, no, 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 dude, we can't do that. Like, nah, we just gotta walk back. And my friends were like, hell no. We had no shoes and socks on. We would have had to walk miles through the woods up on the, the hot asphalt all the way back. It would have been hell. It would have been absolute hell. This experience definitely humbled me. All right. I know that swimming in rivers is dangerous. The, the current underneath the top, like what you're seeing is always a little bit less than underneath. There's usually a stronger current going, especially if there's any white water rapids on top of the water, you absolutely don't want to swim in it because it's just dangerous. All right. Very dangerous. So PSA tip of the day, don't swim in white water rapids, all right? I mean, I think that's a given, but like, hey, listen. If I could save one of you guys out there watching this video, listen, don't drown. That's some great advice, isn't it, dude? Just having trouble swimming? Just don't drown, bro, all right? Just don't. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. Leave a like on the video and subscribe with the bell on to be notified for future videos. Thank you to everybody supporting me on Patreon. Here's a list of all the names on screen right now. For a dollar or two a month, you can support the channel and get access to the 175 plus unlisted videos with a lot of uncensored content. A lot of the videos are like 30 minute long videos where I'm rolling up dubs and just answering questions, talking about fun stuff, going on nature hikes. And huge thank you to everybody on screen right now. You're support really helps me out and let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever had a close call in a river or any body of water ocean dude i feel like the ocean is the scariest one you never know what's underneath you like river there's some fish and depending on where you are in the world there might be like alligators or something but the ocean is scary all right there is just endless water underneath you you just don't know i mean sharks obviously the scariest thing but like even dude if a whale swam up next to me. I mean, I don't know if, listen, you're not gonna catch me in that deep of water, but listen, if a whale swam up next to me, that would be terrifying. I mean, I think they're beautiful. I've gone whale watching. It was a fun time, but I wouldn't wanna be in the water with it. Hell no. Thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.